hello everyone welcome back to this video now in today's video i will tell you how to create a task and attach it through provider okay so this will be our basic workflow the widget will call us call the service method to create a provider okay the service will do a rest api call and when when the provider when the task is created at backend we will get some response so according to that response we will update our provider store and this will notify our widget through consumer okay so first of all let's go ahead and do create a ui for creating a task okay So this is our task list. We'll add a floating action button here at our landing page. we will add a floating action button here we'll leave this to a empty function we'll add a icon sorry child will be a icon and icons dot add and uh, background color will be colors dot accent blue blue accent okay save this okay great so on press we will open a new screen let us go and create a new screen for creating a task as task underscore details dot dart html stateful widget task details So this will return a scaffold and our bar will be a bar we'll copy this from here. I will change change it to a container so task details and here I will return a column now a task can have a title a description okay while creating a task we will have only these two options by default it will be its status will be open let's go back to our model and see what things we had added a title a description and a status so a status will be by default open okay so let's go ahead and create fields for it so 
text field text form field Actually, this should be inside children. Text form field. We we'll have three text form fields. Sorry, two. One will be for description and one will be for title. Okay, so let's go ahead and create two controllers. Text field controller underscore title controller or text editing controller. is equal to new text editing controller now similarly we will create one field for description D -S -C -R -I -P -T -I -N. ok we will add these controllers to the form field score title controller and here the controller will be description controller now let's go ahead and create a button for adding the task so i'll use expanded and its child will be a container or more accurately it will be a gesture detector we can also use raised button here I'll go ahead and use a raised button ok so there is a required argument on pressed on pressed we'll call service method here to create a task and text will be text color will be colors dot white and background color will be colors dot black let's see if there are option of radius Okay, we can add elevation here and we can also add a shape here so let's go ahead and do, do it we can add elevation elevation of 2 and shape will be box shape dot circle is of type shape border so it will be a rounded rectangle border with border radius let's say 20 border dot border radius dot circular radius will be 20 okay yes. and uh, we will push this screen when the user clicks this button okay 
so let's go ahead on landing node dart and on this user will navigator dot push named context and route name will be at task let's go ahead and register our route first so at task in our routes dot dart this will return function context and that will return our task details page so now let's go and restart our application okay so this is a text field this is another text field and this is the raised button which we will need to change now let's wrap this raised button inside column and main axis alignment will be end main axis alignment dot end let me hot reload it okay now we will need to add a child widget of raise button so that we can show some text here child text and uh, we will add add a task okay great okay so now let's go ahead and write our provider and service for creating task now I will create a service here inside library I will create a package for services and inside that I will create a to do service or task service task service dot dart okay. so class task service and inside this we'll create a method add task okay now first of all we need to access this task service from our widget so we will register it inside locator okay so locator dot register single lazy lazy singleton and it will take a function which will re return task service and I will import it so now we can use the instance of task service provided by locator now the main reason behind registering our providers inside the locator and not using it directly from supply providers like uh, uh, I showed you that uh, we can also use it like this without using locator okay but the main reason is that uh, we are going to use our providers in our services okay so now here I can register a task provider underscore task provider and uh, let me import it okay and this will be equal to locator of 
task provider so okay let's locator and all tender i will import locator so this will provide a instance of task provider inside this variable now i will this add task will take a map it will be a map of a string and dynamic so this will provide us the values of the task for example the title and the description okay so now let's go ahead and create a method of task here now here we will have a list of a list of tasks okay let me check what okay it is task a list of task okay which will be initially a empty array and i will import this task from our models now i will make a getter and setter for this so that we can use it from outside this class this will be a getter and this will return the private property and similarly we will set tasks it will take a list of tasks and here we will set our private property equal to task and we will notify our listeners so this is important this is important because when the ui is created okay so how does the widget know that something has changed or the task that i have subscribed to has changed so this will tell the widget that something inside task provider has changed and you need to rebuild the whole widget tree okay i will show you an example later on just uh, remember this thing now i will add a func add a function here for adding a task this will take a task and we will add it to our array simple and here i will again notify the listeners to tell that uh, a task has been added now we will call this method from the services method here okay so task provider dot add task sorry It should be add task now this will take a task so how do we get to an object of task from this from this map that we are receiving here for that i will go to my model and create some utility functions let's go to our model now we'll call the constructor of this and here it's formatting error 
whenever a task will be created all these four properties will be required okay so required id and i will import this required from material this dot id Similarly, this dot title, this dot description, and this dot status. I'll quickly add required in front of all these. Now we will create a task from a map. which will be a string and dynamic map and I will explain you why we are doing these things ok so this dot id equal to map id Similarly, this dot title equal to map title. now we will have to create some utility functions for enums okay so that uh, because uh, map will con this map will give us a string not a task status so we will need to convert that string into task status so i will do it later on because it is not required right now let's go ahead and to our service now task dot from map i will import the task from model from map and the map that we are receiving right now okay it says instance member from map cannot be accessed using static access so what I will do here is I will go to the model and here I will use task dot from map okay so now it will work fine we have created a from map constructor now I will go ahead to my widget and here I will create a method of add task we'll create a map of a string and dynamic map and here we'll add title this title will be title controller dot text title controller dot text okay and uh, a description we 
description controller dot text and now we will call the service method so we need to create an instance of our service here okay so task service underscore task service and I will import it is equal to locator of task service and I will import locator also so here I will call the add task method of our service task service dot add task and I will pass this map here okay so <clears throat> now what will happen here is that uh, while creating this task it will require ID and a status okay so how we will do this for a status I will add a field here map dot sorry this is task dot add and here I will pass a status that will be task status dot open okay now what about ID it should be unique right so for that right now I will use a package UUID let's go ahead and search UUID flutter let's copy this to our dependencies go to pubspec.yml below this and then packages get go to the example to see how we are going to use this okay so I will copy this code and in our auth service sorry task service I will create a variable here uid dot v1 sorry let's first import it uid dot v1 v1 means uh, version 1 api you can read it uh, in the docs that uh, what is version 1 and uh, what is version 2 uh, just go to readme.md and here you can see that uh, version v1 generates a time based id so that is what i want right now you can use uh, any of these it doesn't matter it will always create a unique id so here I will take a ID and this will be UUID just a second we will need to create different IDs for uh, different tasks so I will call the v1 method here okay so now our task will be created now this task will we will provide this task into the provider so that our widgets get updated okay great so let's go ahead to the task list page and here we will use consumer 
कंज्यूमर इज गिवन बाई प्रोवाइडर पैकेज विच विच इज़ कॉल्ड वेन एवर नोटिफाई लिसनर्स इज कॉल्ड सो दैट द यू आई गेट्स अपडेटेड सो आई विल गो हेड एंड कॉल कंज्यूमर ईयर रिटर्न कंज्यूमर एंड इट टेक्स अ जेनरिक टाइप विच टाइप ऑफ प्रोवाइडर यू वॉन्ट टू लिसन टू प्रोवाइडर एंड आई विल इम्पोर्ट कंज्यूमर फ्राम प्रोवाइडर पैकेज एंड टास्क प्रोवाइडर फ्राम आवर टास्क प्रोवाइडर हियर मेथड बिल्डर इज रिक्वायर्ड बिल्डर टेक्स थ्री आर्ग्यूमेंट्स ओके द फर्स्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट इज अ कॉन्टेक्सट द सेकेंड इज द प्रोवाइडर and the third is child widget okay and here we will return the child widget so here it is here we will return a list view okay list view dot builder we'll use the builder method here which takes a context and an index and returns a item this item will be our task card return task card okay and i will remove this unused code great so let's quickly define all the required arguments item count this will be provider dot list okay provider dot task list tasks okay so this is the method And this is the variable that comes from here okay the getter so where did that list go task dot length And because that is the count okay and we will quickly go to the task card and we will create a final task task and i will import this task from our model now task card when we are calling the constructor we will require this we will initialize this variable okay so now what will happen here is from task list we will have to pass the task here so that will be provider dot tasks and the index the task value at at the given index okay and let's go ahead to task card we will add some margin also here h insets dot symmetric and we'll add some vertical margin only vertical 20 so that uh, our two tasks don't collide into each other okay and here instead of title we'll use task dot title and instead of status we'll use task dot status dot to string here i will have to call to string because status is not a string type it is a task status type and similarly here we will use description task dot description okay cool now everything is in place let's uh, go ahead and rerun rerun our application it should work now
okay so here it is showing a empty because there is no task right now we have not created any task let's go ahead and create a task title description and add task see so now here a task has been generated using provider and service now let's uh, go ahead and quickly do one thing more when our task has been added okay then we will pop from this page navigated dot pop context okay so that uh, it automatically comes back to this page now let's do hot reload we'll add one more task title 2 and description 2 see it is here okay so this is all dynamic and uh, the use case of how services and providers set in place to work with each other I will quickly show you the process once again uh, that uh, what we are doing and how the list is getting automatically updated so let's go to the task list here it is list view dot builder I have used list view dot builder and this is inside consumer of task provider so consumer will automatically rebuild this whole widget whenever whenever notify listener of the task provider is called okay so let's go to the task provider and see here whenever notify listeners will be called the consumer of task provider will rebuild the whole widget okay so this is happening like this so let's go to the task detail page see these pages are not interconnected uh, with each other these are only connected through providers and services whenever we call the add task method of the service add task method of a service will create a new task using this UUID right now we will change this uh, because uh, this U this ID will come from backend when we will be adding things to the database using rest apis okay i will explain these things later on then i have called add task of provider so whenever add task is called the list gets updated okay so the list gets updated the getter will be called automatically and notify listeners with notify listeners the widget tree is updated so when we are doing this the our task list has been updated okay but the widget tree is not rebuilt it will be rebuilt when we will call notify listeners so that's it for today now in the next lecture we will go ahead and improve some ui stuff of this page because it's not looking any nice i know it <laughs>